guys just to show you what uh, items are required so one is the grope doorbell now just let me tell you that this doorbell is it is not one of those ding dongs so i would not recommend this although i have ordered it so these are the details of the doorbell and this is the transformer which you need for the nest hello you could uh, make a note of um, the specifications so what you need is uh, you need the 8 12 24 so the nest would work on the 24 so you have to use the 24 so you have to connect one and two the 24 volt wires over here and your 230 would uh, be connected over here and uh, so this is the packing and this is the transformer you guys should go for the 16 volt transformer and the transformer should be for uh, specified for continuous use and it should have 8 volt ampere current output so that is very important so here it says uh, 1 ampere 8 volt and uh, yes so that uh, looks alright and uh, that's the 24 volt bell so get a 16 volt bell and a 16 volt transformer i think so that's going to be the best option for the nest doorbell but make sure that it's got the 8 volt current so uh, let's go ahead with the wiring now here we have the nest hello doorbell and this is basically wired up here once you've connected your uh, nest hello doorbell so you run these two wires obviously there'll be two wires which will be coming it took me some time to understand the the whole setup which is quite strange but i got it working so this is my fuse box now if you have a fuse box like this it's an old fuse box so just be careful uh, because uh, that part over here this is all live i would rather say to get a get an electrician to do this but if you want to do the diy uh, so go ahead with it uh, that's your choice so what i've done is i've uh, got this uh, transformer which i ordered i've got a link in the description below i'll just open it and show you guys so guys this is the 24 volt transformer which i got so what i did was i ran two wires uh, from the 24 volt uh, over here and I ran the 240 230 volt uh, from here and I um, passed it through the fuse box and uh, one I had to give it to the neutral put the brown in the red line any of this you can uh, put it uh, it really doesn't matter so just tuck that in and that's that then from the transformer you have to run 24 volts uh, which is over here so this is where I'm running the 24 volts and this is the 24 volts which is coming out. So that is the transformer done. So I can just go ahead and close it. So now we're getting light power in the transformer. So this is the 24 volt cable which is running. So guys, first of all, with this, as I was telling you, this 24 volt which I'm running over here, which is coming out from the transformer, um, that needs to be uh, hooked on to the chime connector now once you have your chime here the first thing you need to do is forget about all the circuit you need to connect your chime connector these two wires the hooked wires from the chime, chime connector to these two port terminals over here from the 24 volts you need to uh, insert any any of the colored cable into the chime connectors clip and the other 24 volt will be going to your doorbell. So these two wires are coming from my doorbell. One wire goes into the chime connector clip from the doorbell and the other wire from the transformer goes into the chime connector clip. And the spare wire will be connected to the doorbell. So if you guys didn't understand it, so just leave a comment in the section below and I'll reply back to you. Just let me show you how the bell sounds. So that's how it is guys. It's, I know it's terrible, but unfortunately, we've got no other option. This is the doorbell. This is the 24 volt doorbell, which will basically run with your uh, Nest setup. I might be returning this, getting another 24 volt model or maybe 16 volt model and then I could uh, just uh, 
you know, uh, because in the transformer I have the option to change it from 24 to 16. I might do that setup, that might work as well. So guys, this is the setup and this is what you need to run the doorbell. So guys, thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, leave it in the section below and I'll reply back to you. And don't forget to subscribe and share my videos. All right, bye for now guys.